Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Error 404 from the French Twins. All right, so what is Error 404? Uh, this is a effect that allows you to do kind of a torn and restored, but it's, it's not restored. It's like a torn and visual transposition card effect. Basically, you have a card selected, uh, return to the deck, and then you have a new card revealed uh, as a miscall. You say, uh, like, is this your card? And the, the spectator says, no, that's not my card. And so you rip that card into fourths, like you would say, like, ah, I got the card wrong, and you rip it into fourths. And then having those tiny four little pieces in your hand, you're able to then visually transpose those four individual pieces into four new corners of the actual card. All right, so is it what I thought? Uh, no, it's not really what I thought at all, and I don't even know that I was thinking about what it might be. Like, I saw the trailer, and this is one of those effects that works really good on video, right? It looks really good on video, and it's, it's so deceptive. You watch it, and you're just like, what just happened? Because it, it looks like a camera trick, and what you're watching in this video is not a camera trick. Like, that is actually how it looks. That's actually how it plays out. So, I, I really didn't know what to think. When I got it and saw the secret, then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. You know, then it made sense. How are the angles on this? The angles are really super duper clean. Uh, you can really do this surrounded. I, I don't think there's any angle issues. Uh, and then to say, can it be inspected? I would say, no, it can't be inspected. I, I, I would not hand these out, obviously they're gimmicks, okay? There's, there's no point at which the spectator is gonna be holding a non-gimmicked item. In fact, in the write-up, it does say, you know, do the transposition in the spectator's hand. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because it's a $30 gimmick and I, I just don't trust my spectators. I don't trust them if I throw this in their hand and it transposes that they're not gonna then take those pieces and start to play with them, you know? So I wouldn't uh, hand these out at all. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Um, the video opens with two guys, uh, the French twins. <laughs> they're outside and they're talking with French accents and there's loud techno music in the background. So very jumbly, very hard to understand. Not only is thick accents, but you got outside wind blowing and then loud techno music. So please eliminate one of those things, but you know, you can't, <laughs> it's just hard to understand. Um, so, it, and it kind of was like, I think they used outside shots because you have better lighting outside, but then once you do that, then you have a lot of ambient noise, and then you have ambient noise, and then you combine that with music, it, it just seemed like too much. What's taught on the DVD? Uh, the explanation and performance are shown at the same time on this, and I don't think between the commercial and the explanations, you ever get to see a full routine from beginning to end with a real audience. So I kind of would have liked that, you know? I, I kind of want to see how does this play out in the real world? How do you do it? Um, which, you know, that's how I learn the best. I learn the best by watching the actual performance, you know? That way I can see this is how you do it. Okay, now I get it and this is how I'm going to do it. So if I don't ever get a full uncut performance, then I kind of feel a little cheated. The twins, however, will offer you different trick ideas with different transposition effects, so that's cool. But all in all, it felt really fast paced. Um, the video itself is only 26 minutes long and it, it just felt rushed, okay? Because there's some, um, obviously there's some places in there where they're teaching you how to do gimmick repair. So a lot of the video might be taken up with that. And so, I don't know what it was. They either, they either talk too fast for me or I listen too slowly. And a lot of the filming like I said, was, was done outside for good lighting, but I think the, the, then I think the video suffered for it. There's even this part in the video which I thought, like, what is going on? There was this part in this video where the phone rings and the guy talking to the camera runs off to go answer the phone and you hear him talking on the phone and there's dead space through that whole time and the props are just lying there on the floor. And I think they left it in because they thought it was funny, but as a consumer who's shelling out $30 for a magic trick, I don't think it's funny. So that's just me. Is it well made? Uh, your gimmick comes pre-made, so that's awesome. You don't have to build anything. And it comes as two cards, uh, the force card, okay, and the miscalled card. Okay, that's important 
the Force card and the Miscult card. And to do the effect, to do this effect, you will need a new copy of the Miscult card every single time, right? Because you're taking the Miscult card and tearing it in Force in front of them. So you're gonna have to have a new miscalled card for every performance. How much practice does this require? Um, it's practically self-working, although you need to know how to force a card, obviously, and then switch it out for four pieces. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, like I said earlier, these little gimmicks, they practically work themselves. There's really not a lot of setup or reset for it. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Error 404? I think the French twins have come up with a really hyper-visual trick that definitely takes a new twist on the torn and restored and not restored idea. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, I suppose the way the trick is presented, you could pick how best to do this, right? Personally, like I said, I would not do the in the spectator's hands transposition. I don't trust spectators with a $30 prop. Is it worth your money? Um, I guess you be the judge. You be the judge. You know, watch this review, uh, listen to a couple of other different reviewers and kind of make that own assessment for yourself. Who would like this? Uh, I, I think this works best as street magic, where I could throw my cards on the ground or maybe into a spectator's outstretched shirt or their outstretched jacket. Um, restaurant magic, I'd be worried. I mean, I think restaurant magic would be great for lighting, okay? but I would be worried about my gaff cards um, if I threw them on the table, if they're gonna fall in like a drink residue spot, like where there's been some water laid down or, or food. So if you're gonna go for restaurant magic, I would just be a little worried. Just be wary of food, water, you know, residue, that kind of thing. All right, so that's my review of Error 404 from the French Twins. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.